Hi everybody. Today we're going to learn how to draw a caricature. Uh, this will be a tutorial for beginners. And let's put up the example. And we use these examples from a book called Caricatures by Keelan Parham. I encourage you to go get it. Okay, let's draw Bob. Uh, the key things you want to do is look at the head shape. Okay, I'm seeing a square shape. Okay. So let's start with the pencil. I'm seeing a square shape. I'm going to do the pencil a little heavy just so you can see it. Okay. This is uh, going to be step by step. Next, you want to, it's this, he's looking at a three quarter view, so that would be the center line of the face, you know of the head think of it like a basketball okay so your caricature is going to be like that and uh, your head shape uh it's kind of squared off okay the eyes are uh going to be about here where is there more mass I i'm seeing like some more mass below the eye line so let's start shaping it in Okay, the ear, okay, and then the hairline, okay. Uh, what stands out about Bob is his eyebrows, obviously. So let's pencil in those eyes, and now the eyebrows are going to go... We're going to go pretty heavy on these because it is caricature, remember. And his, he's got a long nose, and it's down. It's pointing down. Okay. And we'll ink this in at the end here. And he's got a large space between his nose and the top of his mouth and not much of a upper lip. Okay, and I think we're going to go ahead and ink in this face. Um, always want to put something about your, your, that's them, about the caricature, about the person that's them. So this, he's obviously a real estate guy, so we'll just pencil this in quick, just like the example has. Okay. All right, let's ink it in, guys. Again, we're not focusing too much on the gags or the themes, but um, the, the likeness, how to get a likeness of a caricature. Let's ink in these eyes first. right follow along you can pause the video all right uh, this is a really good book I really highly recommend it and it's up to you how much you want to practice you know whatever you put in you're gonna get out of it uh, that's what I found anyway and I recommend Tom Richmond's book as well the mad art of caricature and if you're interested in doing live events that's a whole other thing but if you you know I suggest uh, doing a few free gigs a few free events at first and then if you wanted to uh, charge you could or you could just do this for fun and uh, and you're in your living room at your dining room table draw for friends you know draw for family nothing wrong with that at all i kind of do a little bit of both all right the mouth here he's got a full set of teeth that kind of large teeth so we'll do what we call the teeth bar the tooth bar so that's all we're going to do we're not going to mess around with each individual uh tooth okay he's got uh 
a larger lower lip. Okay, does have a large chin it seems. And a big cheek coming down. Forehead. And now we'll get into the hairline. Not much of a forehead showing. So you don't have to draw every little hair, just draw the shape of the hair, you know? Sideburn there, and it's kind of flat right there, and then it comes up and up again. There we go. The ear. I might be going a little quick, guys. I, I, I get it. I, but you can always pause the video. All right, in the uh, eyes. You always want to see how much of the, the white of the eyes are showing. He's got a lot of white showing, like in the, you know, in the eye, in the eyeball, pupil area. So we'll have him looking off to the side here. It's kind of always interesting. Instead of drawing your eyes looking straight ahead, you always want him going to one side or the other. It creates interest. It's like he's kind of funny looking, you know? Not a bad likeness. Let's finish it up here. And we'll do the, the gag or the theme here. All right. Some few hairlines to indicate the direction of the hair. And we can always write the name here. Uh, it's always common practice to... Put the name in. And you can practice your lettering too at another time. Maybe I'll do a whole video on lettering. Because that can be... Uh, see, let's make the lettering stand out with a little drop shadow. A little 3D action. Nothing crazy. Just like that. Alright, now the gag. It's got kind of a thicker neck. You don't want to give these lollipop necks either, you know? And the suit coming down. There we go. You don't have to get all that detailed with your gag. You, can, you don't want it to take away from the caricature. It, it should support the caricature, not take away from it, in my opinion. That's just me. All right? Don't get frustrated with hands and fingers either. Uh, practice them. Practice uh, positioning of fingers and hands and you'll be good and we can draw a little house in the background here Nothing crazy, just and use light lines uh, when you do this. I found that if you use heavy lines in your backgrounds, it's going to take away, you know, and it's going to distract. You want the caricature to be the star. So that's it. That is Bob. I think we got a good, decent uh, caricature here. C caricature tutorial for a beginner. I hope you learned and follow along. And uh, give me a like and a subscribe, guys. Thank you.